Hey guys, welcome to the video and I hope that you are feeling awesome. It is stupid o'clock in the morning. It's my first day of my holidays. I have now got myself dressed, I've had some breakfast, I've fed the cats, I've done some chores, and now I'm off to do a sunrise video. I've had to leave it a little bit later than I was initially hoping to go out because it was still a smidge bit of the darkness. Here's funny. Hi. We've been given the gift, haven't we? Oh yeah, a little one about so big like that. What are these ones? I am blessed that I'm able to at least walk down this area here. And this is where we've got rid of quite a few uh, live little ones. We've just had a bit of a kerfuffle uh, sorting out Yvonne's uh, mobile phone network because uh, she has uh, had to migrate on as the mobile network type of thing. Anyways, I'm going to head on home now and carry on doing the uh, editing that I was doing before Yvonne notified me that we have a guest. Oh, that is absolutely so cute. Hey, so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> Yesterday, I had the best morning ever. It was absolutely so freaking cool. And I can't wait to do it again. I really can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. Wow, guys, we just had this plane literally be so freaking low to the ground. Me and Yvonne's getting ourselves ready now to head out over to her mum's. I will give Yvonne the camera and she will take over recording. She has got a list for us. Well, a huge list, actually. <laughs> we've got to get rid of some conifers. We've got to get rid of some grass and chop a bit off a tree. Yeah, I'm doing easy things, though, aren't I? True, yes. Exactly. To the view ahead. was a nice little bit of a journey wasn't it and thank you to Yvonne for taking over the camera because um, I don't fancy breaking the law. Are you up for capturing me as you're getting grubby? Oh yes, up a bit. Thank you very much. Oh yes, definitely. 100% I will be behind the camera, not in front of the camera, which is great. The first job guys oh, I gotta get yeah. done is this. Look how dead this has got. And so I gotta cut it off from there and there's another two down that way. And I must admit, it looks like it's going to be a bit of a fun job to do. How long do you think it'll take you to get done? How long is a piece of string? <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to crack on with it now. Right, we'll leave you to it then, OK? Okie dokie. All done. I try my best to remove as many of the stumps as possible. What's the next job then, Yvonne? Um, good point. Mom? Through the door. Strim the lawn. We are now done in the garden. Look at that. All done. We've uh, cleared up all the grass from across here. And we have also got the conifers lying down just there. Yvonne's man will get rid of that, you know, bit by bit each week. What I absolutely love is this view here. And I was saying that what a wicked view that would be. And uh, Yvonne's man was like, oh, what do you mean? And I said, well, I do time lapse videos, right? And she was like, oh yeah, and I said, if I point the camera up there, I would love to do a time lapse in that area. I must say, I am ready to have a drink and some food and chill for a bit. A lot of traffic on the road. Well, I can honestly say I'm glad I'm not going that way. That is horrendous, why? What shower? 
Well, if you think about it, people have different working patterns now. So it's not like the old classic nine to five. People work like, you know, city shifts and split shifts and stuff. So it's probably the reason why there's more vehicles on the road. That makes sense, I guess, doesn't it? Yeah, true. It kind of looks like we're going to drive to nowhere. We are now off to see the Uncle Browns. When I say we're going to see the Uncle Browns, it's um, fortunately we have to go to a cemetery to see them. But I must admit, it looks like people come here quite often and actually uh, maintain their uh, relatives' graves. Right, we're going to spend a bit of time here, guys, and then we're going to go off into Hensford and do a little bit of shopping. I think me and Yvonne are kind of like on a busman's holiday type thing because we're in uh, Hensford's Tesco's now and we're hoping to be able to get her connected up with a decent mobile phone. So have you made a decision? You I want that want phone that there, one. do you? It's a little smaller, but you know, I didn't want bigger. So is that what you're going to go with then, I yeah? I believe so, because yours are longer. Well, unfortunately, guys, I thought we were that close, honestly, of getting her a decent phone, but it looks like they don't have stock in this store. However, guys, me and Yvonne are going to treat ourselves to a nice little meal at the local eatery called by the spoons there we go guys it's absolutely so busy here and i must admit the last time we came here this place was empty well me and yvonne's gonna sit here and have a nice meal and uh, then we're gonna head on home so uh yeah we've definitely had a fulfilled day i'm absolutely so tired today i literally pushed all of my efforts into sorting out yvonne's uh, mum's back garden that today I've got to now do our gardens. I'm gonna cut all of this here, got all of this to cut here. And then I got this little bit of grass here to cut. See guys, in the UK, you've got times where you're allowed to make noises. Like for argument's sake, from seven o'clock in the morning, right up to 11 o'clock at night, you can make as much noise as you want. However, between 11 o'clock at night and seven o'clock in the morning, you gotta be shh. Well guys, I have been really busy this morning. Not only have I got the front garden done guys, I've also got the back garden done as well. And to be truthfully honest, it never takes me that much time to uh, do this garden. So now to show you the uh, back garden, and that garden is literally twice the size of that one. Much better out here guys, to be honest. So with the front garden done and the back garden done, I've also got a little bit of um, grassy area to sort out in front of the uh, garage as well. We are looking at um, hopefully getting all of this removed and replaced with a nice layer of concrete there. I'm gonna crack on with this now and uh, hopefully get it done. And apparently later on, we're supposed to be in for some good amount of thunder and light. I am absolutely shattered. I cleared off all the grass here, ripped it all out, leveled all of that dirt out all the way up to there, got rid of all the grass that was in here, scraped off all the weeds and pulled up all the weeds as much as I could. This is the amount of rubbish I found within this little bit of area area here and we've got like packets here we've got glass we've got i don't know what that is we've got a little bits of all sorts we even got a straw there that's still in a packet so i will dispose of that in a minute i am so looking forward to having a bath and a bit of relaxation but before i can even do that i have to take yvonne to um tesco mobile in rugeley well guys unfortunately tesco's didn't have anything we could offer uh, yvonne here so we're gonna go and have a look in our Argos result guys Argos actually has the phone we'd like to show look at that so now we're gonna head home get her set up I must admit I am looking forward to uh, sitting down because not only doing Yvonne's mum's garden and also doing our garden my body is saying please stop oh my god guys that is literally the second plane I've seen that low in this area I gotta be honest, I've never seen so many planes in the last, say, couple of days looking at the sky and I'm like, well, where are they coming from? Where are they landing? Wow, guys, this morning it's a little bit misty, but I'm so disappointed, guys. Where was the thunder and lightning that we were supposed to have had? 
I mean, I, I set my camera up. I was all ready. Have a look at the sky now. I think it's going to be a really, really crappy day for weather. Which don't help me, guys, because I've still got a few things I've got to get done in the garden. Now, guys, I've literally been on the ball today. I have changed the waste pipes from the house that goes into the drain. Not only that, guys, I came up with a plan last night to a nice drain cover. This is the drain cover I made today. It's a pretty, you know, simple design there. Now, the next thing I have to do is paint it. So, uh, this is the paint that we've chosen to paint. So now I've got to paint the uh, drain cover. It has now been painted and I've got to confess, I really enjoyed doing the paint inside as much as making the actual uh, drain cover itself. What we're aiming to do is paint all of the fence the same color. Well guys, I've just had a bite to eat and a drink and a bit of a rest. Just came out to check on the drain cover and it's looking quite good. Well, it looks to be pretty much uh, not far off dry here, guys. So what I'm going to do is just flip it over. Oh, as you can see, I've got a bit of touching up here to do, guys. So uh, I'm going to get this touched up and hopefully it will look a lot better than this. Wow, guys, the heavens have just opened up and great timing because I've just finished doing the second coat. And I've got to be honest, it's looking really, really good. Just going to leave that there to dry and then I'm going to head on inside because there's nothing else I can do outside. I'm looking forward to seeing this when it's fully dry. Ooh, it's very dark this morning. Good morning there, little creatures oh look two slugs in there a little slug there oh you can just well one two three four snails there guys all right guys let's have a look at this drain cover this morning it's a little bit sort of wet i think on the edges just there but I've got to confess, I am really, really happy with that. And we are off now, guys. I am uh, literally so close to the location that we'll be doing today's sunrise video at. There you go, guys. We are now set up doing a time-lapse video there of that beautiful site just over there. I've got to confess, guys, this location is absolutely awesome, right? And... It was quite scary walking through all those bushes and it's a good job I've been to this location several times because I would have ended up getting a little bit lost. Oh, it's much more brighter here guys. I didn't realise that it was be just behind me there's a little bit of a gem. A chair here guys. It would be funny but it's here already guys so uh, I might as well use it as they say. Put the chair down there and because I've been sat on the floor on my coat my coat's obviously going to be wet in the back. So what I'll do is I'll just put that like that. Yeah. Not too bad to talk about the uh, ultimate in recycling. This area, I'm so loving it. And I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to it's very, very soon find another location to do a few videos from. Because that would be awesome. Wow, guys, I've got to confess, I'm absolutely loving making these time-lapse videos, right? And I know it's the second time doing a sunrise, but unfortunately, when I started doing my recording, I didn't realise I was so far off the location where the sun rises. If I give you this angle here, that's perfectly straight on me, right? But while I was recording, was slightly here. So I've now pinpointed an area roughly where the sun can be seen coming up. So uh, at least I know for uh, the third time lucky kind of video, if you get my drift. So I'm now back home. I've just spent some time with Yvonne and we've done a lot of chatting. Yvonne is absolutely so happy with what I've made. She has not stopped, you know, smiling and she's so pleased with it. There we go, guys. The drain cover is nicely dried and it actually fits the area perfectly nice and snug from one corner to the next so that's given me the inspiration to get on to my next job that needs to be done my next task i need to do if you notice this slab here is slightly risen up in that corner there you can see it there right what i'm going to have to do is remove all of these slabs put underneath some weed um liner type thing to put the slabs back down so then that be that area sorted as i previously said i wanted to move this slab sort of more to the left and make it level with this uh, bit of uh, concrete 
and after doing so I figured out that this bit of concrete isn't flat it's got a slight little slope that goes up to the house so all this is actually uh, as straight as I could possibly get it my back is killing me after lifting those slabs and you would think that after doing all the stuff I've done up to now this week all I want to do is sit down and chill nope um, I'm gonna be getting on with another job in the garden today all this stuff here is starting to fall off this uh, brick wall here so I've decided that I'm gonna take all of it off give it a brush up and then give it a bit of a pointer job there on the brick and then uh, might give it a paint job as well well you know we got to call it you know quits for a bit um i've chiseled around as much as i can but it's just really really stuck on so i'm gonna go indoors now have myself a bit of a break because uh i've been out in this sun for a bit too long and uh then i'm gonna crack on and see if i give that another go if not then we're gonna have to look at plan b wow the sky this morning guys is absolutely so pretty and what I absolutely like seeing is where the uh, planes have been. You've got the lines going through. It's like an artistic painting. Oh my God, guys, I am absolutely shattered today. After everything I've done this week, my body is saying, please take a break. I want to show you this now. This was the area that I was uh, chiseling at yesterday and I mostly got it rid of this side. I've still got this side to do. However, this is so freaking hard to get off. So what I'm going to do, guys, is this is going to be like a little project um, to hopefully next couple of weeks I'll have this all nice and clear. And I'll show you the next stage of what we want to do in this area here. However, um, Yvonne was saying to me yesterday that she's never been so happy with the drain cover that I made for her. And it made me go like, it's just a drain cover. But when somebody's been wanting a specific design or a specific thing for years and they haven't been able to find it, then suddenly it comes on their lap. They're like, that's exactly what I've been wanting for absolutely ages. Anyway, guys, um, this is where I'm going to have to love and leave you for this huge long vlog. I hope you liked seeing everything you managed to see this week. And uh, next week's vlog might be a little bit longer because I'll still be on holiday on the beginning of it. And obviously I'll be going back to work. So I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's came to watch this video. It means the world. And always do your best to stay positive and screw all those negatives. And I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye-zy-bye.